Ever wonder what it's like to live in a different city? Three people in different neighborhoods invite us into their homes and give us a glimpse of what it's like to live in New York City. This is Apartments Around the World. First, we're heading to New York's largest borough, Brooklyn. Hey, I'm Steven. I live in downtown Brooklyn. It's kind of great because you have uh, the best of both worlds. You have modern, high-rise New York, but you also have the charming brownstone Brooklyn, uh, arching trees and families and neighborhood spots and like your hipster Brooklyn stores and restaurants. The Manhattan Bridge, the Brooklyn Bridge are both nearby, walking distance, the water is nearby, parks are nearby, and it's such a beautiful area. My apartment is 4400 a month uh, and split between two people I pay 2200 a month. The apartment is two bedrooms, one bathroom, but it also comes with so much more than you would typically get for that price, uh, say in Manhattan. So this is the kitchen, cool because it's an open kitchen, just takes over the entire wall. It's just connected to the living room, lots of cabinet space which is nice. This is also probably my favorite apartment so far as well. This apartment has central air, which is huge in New York City um, and very hard to find. And this is the balcony. And we have rosemary, some snake plants, uh, just to bring some life to the city. And then the view is just incredible. We actually get to use a balcony about three quarters of the year. The only time we're not really out here is in the winter when it's too cold. This is my room. Just enough space. Open shelving. Again, in New York, you don't get a lot of space, uh, but dividing it up into sections is super useful so you can utilize your space better. So this is my desk. I spend a lot of time here now that we're all working from home. The balcony right outside the window. This is the second bedroom, my roommate's room, makeshift home office, low furniture, lots of plants, cool bed, and Amazing views and a floor to ceiling window, which he covered like an idiot. Just kidding. Personal espresso machine and rack. Because he's crazy. A shared bathroom. Don't know what to say, but try to keep it as clean as possible. And it's a fairly new, which is nice. And we have a washer dryer, which is super cool since it's rare in New York to have that in your apartment. And it is amazing. Bye. We're staying in Brooklyn and heading to bed -Stuy. Hi, I'm Kemi and I live in bed -Stuy, Brooklyn. bed -Stuy is known for being a historically black community and it is also known for its brownstones. bed -Stuy has the largest collection of untouched Victorian architecture in the country. So when you think of brownstone Brooklyn, kind of that image that you get in your mind, you are probably thinking of bed -Stuy. A stereotype that people may have if you don't live in New York is that living in the city is very anonymous and you don't know your neighbors or anything, but it's not the case in bed -Stuy. You definitely know your neighbors, everybody's super friendly, willing to lend a hand whenever you need one. I live here with my boyfriend and our dog, Jaja, and we pay $2,500 a month for two bedrooms, one bathroom. So as you come in, this is our living area. Um, this is actually a vintage record player that is functioning as a TV stand right now. One day we will mount the TV, that's gonna happen. Um, this is our closet that's dedicated entirely to storage in the entire apartment. I'm not gonna open it because it's a nightmare in there, but um, that's probably a recurring theme that you will see throughout this tour is that this apartment does not have enough storage. This is our dining area. We have a bar cart here that's currently very dry because we've been in quarantine for six months. This is our 
dining table. And this table is actually one of my favorite vintage finds. I found this, it's an old uh, Eames table. This is one of my favorite things at the apartment is this fake fireplace. I have my vintage atomic clock. Most of the furniture in my apartment is vintage or secondhand. And we have this cool candelabra in here. This is an old library card table that I quickly DIY'd into a little side table here. All I did was put on the, the hairpin legs. This is our couch and our dog. Hello, Jaja. <laughs> So this is our kitchen. Um, I actually think we have a really nice kitchen for New York. It's pretty big. It doesn't have, again, as you might notice, it doesn't have a whole lot of storage, um, even though there's room for there to be more cabinets. So we've added this down here to kind of expand the storage a bit, and um, we definitely want to put some shelves up because the lack of storage does really get annoying. But we do we have a nice gas stove, one and a half ovens, which is apparently a thing. We have our fridge here, double doors, freezer. This cabinet is actually the crowning jewel of this apartment, and I will show you why. Oddly enough, this is where our dishwasher is. So we do have a full-size dishwasher and much coveted in New York City the in-unit washer dryer. This is a washer dryer in one. This is a big part of the reason why I'm okay with paying so much for this apartment because it is crazy hard to find a decent price apartment that has in-unit washer dryer. This is the bedroom, pretty good size, and we get a lot of light back here, which is great. The best thing about this apartment is that it is a floor through apartment, so it's the entire third floor, and the bedroom faces the back, so we don't get a lot of street noise back here. And this is kind of my last big design project. I still have some work to do in this room. And this is our closet. It has sliding doors, which I hate, but I'm making it work. Cut it into our spare bedroom. Here's actually another thing that I really like about this apartment is we have ceiling fans in every room. This is our pull-out couch here that we'll pull out for guests. That turns into a queen-size bed. This is my workspace where I've been working from home for the past few months. What I like most about this piece is that the desk pulls out. It's on wheels. So when you want to use it, you have a good-sized desk there. And then when you're finished, just rolls right back. So that saves a lot of space in here. I have my sewing machine in here. This is where I do the majority of my sewing and crafting. Since the beginning of the pandemic, I have been making and selling uh, cotton face masks and donating them to charity. So I do all of that in here as well. And we have another mirror sliding door closet. This is our bathroom. Just a bathroom. We do have these shelves in here for some storage. So with this sink, we don't really have a cabinet or a medicine cabinet or anything. Oh, but the best thing about this bathroom for sure is the jacuzzi tub. Thank you guys so much for taking a little spin around my apartment. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye. Now we're heading to Manhattan, to the Upper West Side. Hi, my name is Dakota. I live in the Upper West Side in New York City, in Manhattan. The Upper West Side is a really wonderful neighborhood. It's very residential, very quiet. I moved up here about five years ago because I wanted to get away from the college -y area that I was living in previously while I was in school. I'm right next to Central Park and Riverside Park, and we are right by the Museum of Natural History. So it's a fantastic area. There's a big strip of bars and restaurants right next to our apartment, and we couldn't ask for a better location pretty much. We have sacrificed a bit in the way of amenities, like we don't have any outdoor space, we don't have a dishwasher, we don't have any laundry in the building, um, but that has contributed to keeping our price relatively average in the area. I live in a two bedroom apartment with one roommate. We pay $3,350 a month and we split it evenly, so it's $1,675 each. The first room you'll see is the main room, which is our living room. Um, we're also currently using it as two offices because we're both working from home full time. My roommate's desk right over here, and then my desk right over here. 
Usually we just have this one desk here and then this bookshelf is over where my roommate's desk is. We also have a big couch, which does pull out for if we have any guests staying with us. And then uh, another chair from Ikea over here. Throughout this apartment, you'll notice there is a lot of Star Wars memorabilia, like this Jar Jar Binks cup. This was a collectible cup from, I believe, Taco Bell in 1999. Uh, we also have a collectible Newt Gunray Pepsi can and a Jar Jar Binks Pizza Hut box. One other cool thing about this apartment is that every single light bulb we have in the place is a smart bulb. So for example, I could say, hey Google, turn the lights green. And they would all turn green. Our kitchen is a moderate size for a New York City apartment. It's, it's not tiny, but it's not huge. It's got everything we need, but not everything we'd want, I think is the best way to describe it. We had to buy this countertop. We bought this from someone off Craigslist so that we could have a little bit more counter space because as you can see, there is next to none, especially once we added the drying rack, which, you know, is kind of an essential. On top of the fridge is some more fun stuff. That's Mannequin Skywalker up there. He is a mannequin that I put a Darth Vader helmet on. Don't ask. Um, that's one thing this apartment was really lacking is like shelf space to put stuff. So I got this pantry at Ikea. And then one nice thing this apartment did have in advance was this little rack for all of these dishes. So it's got all our pots and pans and stuff hanging from it. We have the bathroom, which is a pretty small bathroom, but you know, it does the job. The tub and the toilet are this very strange pink color. So we got a bath mat to match and then we got the shower curtain. Now let's move on to my room. It's a uh, decent sized, not a ton of space between the bed and the wall here, but it's enough that I can squeeze by. Obviously some more Star Wars memorabilia being this Han Solo frozen in carbonite rug, very important. One thing I like, this is a little model of Stonehenge that I built. Built the little box for it to go on and stained it and put it in some fake grass. I just think it's cute. I think my favorite thing in my room is this globe. Hey Google, turn the globe off. So this is a globe from the 1970s and it has a spot for a light bulb inside, but I put a smart bulb inside because I like to illuminate it different colors because it just, I just find it really fun. Out here, right across from the bathroom, we have a storage closet, which we use for storing some coats and also for some tools. So along the door, I have a shoe rack, which has been used as storage for like tools and tape and just things we need all the time. So this is my roommate's room. He has, I think, a little bit less space than I do, but bed is also a little bit larger, so I can't always tell. Thank you so much for looking around my apartment. I hope you liked it. I need the validation of strangers on the internet to tell me that they like where I live. It really helps me emotionally. Next time on Apartments Around the World, Mumbai, India. Don't forget to subscribe to Bring Me, and I hope you uh, enjoyed this video.